Hi, I'm Matt. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to using a GIS package, QGIS, for doing your permaculture plans and designs. It's not intended to be a detailed how-to with QGIS. Um, I'm definitely going to rely on some other gurus to explain that stuff, but just more to put it in the context of permaculture design and, and why you would care and why you'd want to use it. This is an example of our property. Um, and as you can see, I mean, you, you can grab a satellite image and you can draw lines on it just using Google Maps. The important thing with QGIS is that as a GIS package, all of this is real database information. So everything has proper coordinates, you have proper counts, you can do dynamic changes, you could, for example, put a bunch of species of trees in and show them at different stages of their life so you can see the diameters that you expect to see over things like roads. Um, obviously contour lines would be extraordinarily difficult to build out in something like um, Google, whereas with QGIS it's a relatively simple thing to do and I'll show you how to do it. I have areas uh, on the maps. Um, so there's a lot of things that are incredibly powerful to use, um, including the ability to be able to take it into the field. Uh, so there's a, an app for your mobile phone called QField, which means that you can actually go out and trace these lines. So if you were trying to do um, boundary fencing, track down a water pipe, it makes all of that super easy. So this is the end result. Uh, let's start and go back a little bit here. Um, my recommendation is jump in and do this half an hour video that provides you an introduction. It's absolutely awesome. Class does an excellent job on it. Um, half an hour well spent. I'll provide a link down below. Um, but yeah, and, and he has a huge range of videos, but it'll definitely give you the basics that you need to get started. Um, so I won't, won't repeat all of that. That'll get you going. Um, you download QGIS from here. Um, QGIS is an open source uh, GIS package, so absolutely no cost to you whatsoever um, and freely usable. I would recommend Donate if you find value in it. Um, just That's the whole spirit of open source software. Donate what you can. Uh, and let's get going. 